Hi everyone, welcome back to another For Those Who Code video. This channel is about learning and sharing skills about code and design. If you want to grow your skills and learn new things that's coming up, please like, share and subscribe for more. In this second part of Gatsby and Prismic video series, we will be exploring pages, components and ways to add styles to our Gatsby application. Pages, which stays inside SRC right here, and we have default created page 1, 2, 3. Uh, these three are default pages that we have and to generalize there are two types of pages the first one is pages that we generate ourselves commonly called as static pages which are these and second one is pages that we create dynamically which we integrate pages with markdown files or uh, a headless cms of our choice first we will look at static pages any pages that are inside the pages right here are the static pages so in our code here 404 index page2.js these are all static pages let's first take a look at index.js file in the top we have imported react and after that we have imported link which is somewhat kind of like react router if we have used react router which helps us to um, visit a different routes and then we have imported some of the components right here which are layout image and seo component then we define a constant here we have named index page so generally this constant right here holds a function and ultimately returns a jsx you may be familiar with the term jsx if you are used to working with react inside the return we have a custom component layout which is this layout right here and uh, seo and image and last we have exported the name which tells gatsby to generate the page return from the constant which is index page let's now create our first static page inside gatsby for that one we'll go to pages and create new file and call it about.js and inside here i want to bring some of the code of index to about and call this one about page and also export this constant here and also name our seo title to about about page here as well and let's hit save and bring on our terminal and here we want to have gatsby develop command so that we can serve our project locally and let's visit localhost 8000 we can see that our gatsby site is serving locally and if we visit about url and you can we can see about page right here so we can navigate now to different pages so this is how we can create a basic static page inside of cats now what if we want to serve static assets inside of our project which we can do it from a folder and call it static so we will uh, make a new folder not inside pages but inside our root folder uh, so we will call it static and we will drag in some images that i have created uh, and paste it right here so which is this particular image right here gatsby with prismic cms so we'll close this one and hit on save so uh let's go to our browser and let's navigate to that particular asset that we have just added and it's called banner.jpg so banner.jpg if we hit on enter then we can see uh that particular image right here inside our browser so if we want anything else that needs to be served directly to the browser which can be icons images or any svg elements we can place it over here as well inside static so if we visit our current uh, gatsby project and write that particular name over here and we can see it inside our browser so now what does that mean well it means that anything that is inside this particular file is not even touched and processed by gatsby at all and neither this is an optimized image for our needs as well let's try to add this static asset inside of our component so for that one i will add an image tag and give it a source and call it by its name which is banner.jpg and also provide it with an alt text of banner and close it close the image tag and hit on save and if we navigate to about then as you can see here our image is successfully inside our about page right here so actually this is a wrong way of doing it we are not making use of gatsby and we are bypassing it and serving static assets without any optimization 
and process that Gatsby has to offer. But if we just go uh, to the folder right here, we have called images right here. And we do have uh, images uh, that's being used in our template boilerplate that we set up earlier. And there are two images right here. And if we take a closer look, we can see that these images has been optimized with the help of Gatsby plugins. If we go to our Gatsby config file, we can see that there are a couple of plugins that has been already added in our starter template. The plugins are Gatsby plugin SARP, Gatsby Transformer SARP, and then a Gatsby source file system, which takes the path of uh, the directory and source and images. And if we go inside our about page, and we have this image tag right here. If we go to this image component right here, so uh, as you can see here, we have made the use of use static query hook, which we will further be discussing about. This particular hook makes the use of the plugins that we have and provides us with an optimized image. So I highly recommend not to use this particular method for using images inside Gatsby but unless you have an exception case you can obviously uh, use this kind of method as well but it's good to use it with an optimized plugin. Now let's explore a bit in components. So basically components are reusable pieces of the application. We can use multiple times inside our components. Now let's explore a bit in components. So basically components are reusable pieces of the application. We can use it multiple times as per our need inside our application. So let's build a simple component ourselves. For now, we can call it skills.js and we will import react first and create a constant and call it our skill and then create a fat arrow function and return some JSX. So inside here, what you want to do here is create a simple div. Inside here I will have an S2 tag and that S2 tag will just have a heading, a heading of our skills uh, or let's say skill and a paragraph tag where we'll have some liner of description of our skills and ultimately export this constant that we have made and give it a save. And we want to import this particular component right inside our about.js file. So we will go here and import our skills from components, skills, and place this particular tag right here. Let's format a little bit and give it a save. And if we visit our, uh, our about page, then we can see here heading of our skill and some liner of description. So let's further add uh, some text inside here. We can add heading and paragraph and remove this one right here. Add some curly braces with heading inside it and also paragraph with paragraph inside it and give it a C. And inside our about we can where heading is equal to this is the heading of our skill. Also add a paragraph where this is paragraph of our skill. This should be inside of comma. And then if we see and take a look at our about page, then we can see here uh, this is the heading of our skill and this is the paragraph of our skill. So uh, right now we have made a reusable component so that we, we can add another heading of our skills, and give it a save. And as you can see here, we have this particular component and this is another component and we have reused our component inside of our Gatsby application. So in this way, you can create your basic component yourself. Now let's learn about layout component. This component is a bit different from all other general components that we recently saw. Uh, the main concept behind the layout component, which is right here, 
uh, is that they contain the element that uh, they are going to be repeated throughout our views. For example, in our layout one, we may have a full width nav bar with a header and section below. But in another layout view, we can have a full width nav bar and a header and a sidebar as well. So in this way, we can have a constant UI in our pages and switch layout based on pages we visit as well. Let's take a look at the uh, file about the JS. And inside here, what we can see here is, for example, we have this uh, custom layout tag, which is this one. And we also have some JSX code inside it, which is this. So uh, if we go into our layout component, which is again layout.js, we can see here a new property called children. So this particular uh, property called basically uh, children are everything that is inside the opening and closing of the layout tag. So uh, everything inside of opening and closing of a layout tag, which is the selected part, this one, and it's passed down to our uh me which is right here and so that if we uh, see our this page in the browser everything is inside our main tag and all the pages comes inside the main tag we also can take a reference to the gatsby documentation to understand more about layout page and i have already opened uh, the layout component inside our documentation the gatsby team have the dedicated page for the layout itself as we go on using and exploring more about the layout component, we will face that our Gatsby site will unmount. In other words, it will refresh, which will uh, uh, be against the principle of Jamstack and uh, also single page application. So uh, you will uh, also find how we can deal that issue right here. Also, we have a plugin to prevent this as well. And the plugin uh, that we can find is Gatsby plugin layout which uh, enables adding component which leaps above the page component and persists across page changes. So there are a lot of advantages using this particular uh, uh, plugin inside our Gatsby application as well. And obviously you can read and, um, and explore to understand more about this layout component in detail. Now about adding styles to our Gatsby application. It resembles the same way that we add styles to our React application. There are a lot of ways we can handle styles as per our need of the project. To generalize, there are three ways we can use CSS in Gatsby application. First one is plain CSS, second CSS model, and the third CSS in JS. In plain CSS, we can create and add styles to our pages with the old fashioned style sheet. As you can see in our current starter code, I added a file name called reset.css inside stylesheets right here. This particular uh, reset.css is imported inside of Gatsby browser.js right here. If we want CSS file to take effect in all the pages globally, we can also add it inside Gatsby browser right here. But this will result in heavier build later on and the file size in the build process will be a lot much bigger. Now with the CSS model, we can see here we added a file and renamed it layout.model.css which is right here inside our components. So before it was uh, layout.css and then I added .model over here so that we can understand that this is a CSS model that we can import in any of the desired component that we want to. Let's first now import this particular CSS model inside of our layout.js file right here. Now let's also add this particular style to our footer. Give it a class name and add dot red bg and save it. And if we take a look at the browser, we can see that this uh, particular style has been added to our footer in all the pages. With this approach, uh, it ties the styles and applies to only this particular component, which is the footer component wrapped under layout component. In this way, the style becomes locally scoped just to this particular footer component right here. About CSS in JS way of adding styles, generally done with libraries like Emotion or style components, 
lets us to actually add CSS syntax inside our components. The major problem it solves is uh, there is a problem of a selector named collisions. In all CSS, there is a bit of restriction in CSS selectors as CSS lives inside the same global namespace. With this approach, we can avoid all uh, and all of our CSS are scoped automatically. Let's explore the basics of adding this inside our Gatsby project. We will be using here style components. For that one, let's add style components as our dependency. Let's add a command of npm install Gatsby plugin style components style components and Babel plugin style components, which you can also find in the style components doc in Gatsby official website. And let's install this. We can go to our Gatsby config.js file. And inside the plugins area right here, we can add another plugin, and uh, which is Gatsby plugin uh, style components. So inside here, we will add another. And let's hit save. And hit a restart to our current local server that's running. And let's see if something have changed. And as you can see, there is nothing changed. So now let's move ahead and add some basic uh, style components for our about component right here. Style and import style components. And for now, we will create a, a simple uh, style component and add our styles for our heading and call it styled.h3. And Inside here, we want uh, to have, let's say, a padding of 20 pixel and then text align to center and then color of green so that we can identify our heading inside of our about component. Now, let's use this heading inside our this layout tag inside here, so probably around here. So let's write heading, let's close heading, and then inside here we can write our welcome to the Gatsby project with styled components and hit save. And if we go and see in it in the browser, and we can see that our style components has been successfully added, and we can see our text right here. So in this way, we can uh, even uh, add further styles to our uh, application. So we will definitely go to style components probably in next uh, series of our videos, but we will be focusing on Gatsby with Prismic in this video. So uh, in this way, uh, we, we can create our um, style components, uh, which can be played with Gatsby. Uh, these are um, scoped automatically. So guys, in the second model of the video, you understood about are working with pages, components, and styles inside of Gatsby application. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you guys want to learn more about design and development, please like, share, and subscribe with a click down below. I'll be trying to make more better videos. See you in the next one.